بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد خالص فیل ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی ول لرن دیٹ ہاؤ وی کین کیلکولیٹ پورٹ فولیو ریٹرن ان فائیو ڈفرینٹ میتھڈس وی ول یوز لائیو ڈیٹا ود دا ہیلپ آف اسٹاک ہسٹری فنکشن دا اونلی پری ریکوزٹ از دیٹ یو شوڈ ہیو جینوئن ایکسل تھری سکسٹی فائیو Uh, for example, we have uh, two symbols, V and F. Now, what are these two symbols? Just go to the stocks. And then you can see that this is Visa incorporation. And then what is the uh, F symbol? Uh, it is basically Ford Motor Company. Uh, now, uh, we will take the data uh, for six months. And uh, we need basically six months data because one formation would be used for calculation purpose. Now, With the help of stock history function, you will you can get live data. Press equal sign, then stock history function, and then select uh, ticker name like this one. Comma then start date and fix it. Comma then end date, fix it. Then we need monthly data, so we will use option two. and then we need no header and we need just closing price so we will press one after closing the bracket just press enter here you can see that we have a uh, stock price data for visa incorporation now just copy it to the next cell and we will get a uh, four price data Uh, now to calculate uh, uh, returns we will use uh, log function is equal to ln then left parenthesis ending price divided by beginning price and then press enter now copy it to the next step next step so this is a return of uh, visa company and this is return of ford company so just copy it down now we have six monthly returns for each company uh, first of all we will get it average with the help of average function then this is this is your one point 95% average while investing in this stock you can earn almost 1.9% per month now copy to the next cell this is 4.44% now we have to uh, average monthly return uh, for company v and company f now just get these two stock returns here return of first company and then return of second company now we assign equal weights now sum of it should be equal to 1 go to home function and then press this sigma symbol and sum of uh, weight is equal to 1 you can see in here you can see here uh, now uh, by applying this first method uh w1 r1 plus w2 r2 now we have this one w1 and this is w2 now equal to w1 multiplied by r1 plus w2 multiplied by r2 now return is here you can see that uh, we have this return now copy to or move to here this is our first method now for second method uh, first we multiply w by r and then it means that we should multiply each with with each uh, respective return and now just copy down copy it down and just sum it you can see that we have the same 
output like we have 3.19 percent return this is basically weighted average return this is our second method now uh, you can use sum of product function this is our third method now here i'm writing this function equal to sum of product function just press tab and then first select weights comma and then select range of returns here again you can see that uh, we have the same output just copy it here and convert into percentage now in the fourth method it is not preferable but if you have equal weights uh, then you can apply this method uh, so just take average of two returns because we have equal weights so we can use here this method as well so just use this average function and average of these two weight two returns so again you can see that we have the same result Now the last method it is uh, most preferable method uh, here you should know uh, the concept of for matrices as well uh, now just i will use the formula uh, weights transpose multiplied by r so we have ml function means matrix multiplication function in excel so here i will use uh, this ml function and then first we should transpose weights you can see here uh, so we will use transpose function. Close it. And now it should multiply it with returns. And uh, for older version, you should uh, uh, press shift control enter key. Uh, but in Excel 365, just you can press enter. So again, you can see that we have the same return. So the most preferable method that uh, we would use for a portfolio return is this the last one method. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Uh, in the next video, uh, you will learn to calculate the portfolio return of 30 firms by using live data in just three to four minutes. So don't forget to subscribe the channel for more information of latest techniques in the financial modeling. Thank you very much.